Hi everyone, welcome back. I hope you all are doing great. Today we're going to get into some things I picked up from the Dollar Tree. My friend sent me a text message saying, hey, have you seen these? And I was like, no, but I'm going to go look for them. I still haven't found all of the ones I want to find, but I did find some cool books. I grabbed a few of these books right here because I want to cut them up. I thought that would be interesting. And I also think that this is a pretty sturdy spine. The paper feels different as well. My hands are dry. I've been washing dishes. I usually use gloves, but not today. I was cleaning out something that needed attention. <laughs> so, like, if you are into this, you could probably take this picture and this picture and put it in an 8 by 10 frame. And it could be two different things, you know, some abstract art. Um, these pictures right here, scenic pictures, are very nice. I love that. Even this picture right here. This is Vosburgh's Grove. Very cool more like abstracty thing very nice pictures to uh unfortunately for the book this is my favorite of all the pictures in here i've did this a few times because every time i do a flip through i seem to find some nudity i thought i had clipped it all off but you know i hadn't so this is a cool book to get for a dollar it looks like a textbook honestly i was like they're selling textbooks now then i grabbed this because i am getting more into art like art art like painting on things and more mixed media i should say because you know i don't think i'll ever be able to like get some paints and stroke out a few things but i got i got two of those because i want to cut them up in different patterns and i feel like i'm going to need that then I got this really pretty, um, excuse the crinkling, napkins with these butterflies on it. So this is really pretty. It looks like it's a repeating pattern. Then I had to get some more foam tape. I had been looking for it at the big box stores and I didn't see any. Uh, or maybe my price point was different than their price point, but I didn't, I don't recall seeing any. And the one I did see was really, really small, but I grabbed a few of those. No, I didn't clean it out. So if you're in San Antonio, I left you some. Then I got two of these. I think I got this size and a square size. I'm going to be making a glue pot because I want to do some paper collaging. And I did a, a lot of research. And glue pots seem to be the way to go when you're using a lot of glue. So I got that. So this is the actual pot that I'm going to be using in the sponge. I'll, I'll, I don't think I need to do a go by because there's so many people that have done them. And each person does it totally different. Um, you know, I'm all about getting a craft book when I see it for a buck. And it says, Pretty Bugs, Pretty Birds. <laughs> 18 Simple Projects to Sew and Love. And I don't like owls that much at all, really. Um, but I think this would be cool to make for people that do like owls and share with them like this peacock. This could be a girl peacock because it's not that pretty, you know. Because um, boy, our male peacocks have a large plumage trying to attract the ladies and little ducks. So this is really cool. So it's 18 different birds and Virginia Lindsay made this book. And even if you don't like the book, like it has some pretty pictures you could just use and cut up. But this is nice. And see, it says you can download the pattern here so you can scan it and download it. Too bad they don't um, just give you like a website. I don't know if they do. I didn't get a chance to look through here all the way. But you know, you can, there, how old is this book? First of all, let's see. 2015 so yep in 2015 they were all about that little um barcode scanner thing look at this flamingo now that's really cool it looks simple to make to just get the pattern and sew some things on there and they even have a button for an eye so that's really cool um to try and make and i may try and just do a project share um because i don't know if i would be able to do sewing and then other other ideas to try this looks like a little note a card holder so that's really cool but i thought it'd be cool i like flat things this dove is really pretty you, know, you can always do that around christmas time or any time but christmas and easter is a good time to do doves so that's really nice i also saw this i hadn't seen this before but i know mother's day is here <laughs> put a picture of my son in here um and maybe a, a, a him and his sister from christmas time and get us to the big roommate for father's day and just um distress this some and maybe put i don't know something around there for him i also got 
a few of these I got some for myself but I really want to get them for my little one um, because even though he's three he is trying to write and so I figured if he wants to write we should could try and do it you know how schools recommend it um, but I'm not pressuring him to try anything I remember I got these sponges and so I figure that these will fit well inside of here and I could also use them to clean with and then last almost last my little one's like mommy can we put this in the cart I don't know why he wanted this but I was like, sure, son. I was like, you want this? And he was like, yes, please. And I was like, okay. Um, it has a little toe thing on there. And if you've been watching the channel, you know, I've talked about him and Thomas a lot lately. And I think that's why, because he feels like this is like a train and this is a tender. I don't know. But I thought it was so cute because a lot of times he'll grab something and I'll be like, you want? He's like, no, I'm going to put it back. And I'm like, okay, you know, but we'll see what he does with it. And I'll keep you posted. Okay, so she sent me a text message and she said, have you seen these? All right. So the funny thing is the blue one only has 32 count, but the pink has 33 count. And then the brown, I would say this is more of a traditional color of monarch or even moth color um, butterflies. It has 33 in here. I'm going to share with you the skew on it. It's the same. Yep, it's the same. So you can put in this number right here. And look it up and see if they have some in your area or you can even down download buy buy some in bulk so I did grab some for myself and for her even though she didn't ask me to I feel like if I was going to clean the place out it might as well be two guilty parties versus one person um, is this made in China yep made in China so you probably can get this from online but I mean it's a dollar and you can get it right away and this is in the gardening section so where the flowers are you know where it has other little butterflies and the jute and all that other stuff this is where this is so it's really pretty I think you get two maybe of the big ones and then a, a more defined later on uh, thank you all for watching I hope that you've enjoyed and leave a comment in the comment section and let me know what you go looking for when you go to the Dollar Tree thank you all for watching until next time Happy crafting.